this is question number 11. How many shaded triangles must be unshaded so that one fourth of the given figure is shaded? So, fraction means equal portions of a whole. So, first we will find how many triangles are there in this figure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. There are 16 triangles. And now we will find how many triangles are shaded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 triangles are shaded. So, 8 by 16 is 1 by 2. So, 1 fourth of 16 is 4 by 16. So, we need to unshade 4 part 4 triangles. So my answer is 4. So this is question number 12. Find the sum of third multiple of 11 and the difference between common factors of 8 and 10. So factor means multiplication of a number to get a another number. So factor of 8 and 10 is, first we will do the factor of 8. 8, 1 is the factor of 8 because all numbers are divis divisible by 1. 2, 2 is also a factor of 8 because 2 fours are 8 and 8 is divided wholly. 3, 3 is not the factor of 8 because 3 doesn't come in 8 table. 4, 4 is a factor of 8 because it comes in 8 table. 4 to the 8. 5. 5 is not the factor of 8 because 5 doesn't come in 8 table. 6. 6 is also not the factor of 8. 7. 7 is also not the factor of 8. 8. 8 is the factor of 8 because 8 ones are 8. Now we will find the factors of 10. So, 1 is a factor of 10 because all numbers are divisible by 1. 2. 2 is also the factor of 10 because 2 5 are 10. 3. 3 is not the factor of 10 because 3 doesn't come in 10 stable. 4. 4 is also not the factor of 10. 5. 5 is factor of 10. Because 5 to the 10. 6 is also not the factor of 10. 7 is also not the factor of 10. 8 is also not the factor of 10. 9 is also not the factor of 10. But 10 is the factor of 10. Because 10 ones are 10. So, they have asked the difference of the common factors that are there in 8 and 10. So, 1 and the common factors that are there in 8 and 10. So, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, now they have asked that to find the sum of the difference of the common factor of 8 and 10. So, the difference of the common factors of 8 and 10 is 1. So, 3 into 11 is equal to 33. And sum means addition. So, 33 plus 1 is 34. So my answer is 34. So this is question number 30. The number shown on the abacus is written as. So this is the abacus. We just have to count the beads that are there in this abacus. So there are three beads in lakh, lakh a row. So we will write three here. One, two, three, four, five. Five beads in ten thousands row. We will write five here. One, two, three. Three in thousands row. Three beads in thousands row. Two beads in hundreds row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six beads 
intense row and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 beads in one row so this number is 3 lakh 53267 so my answer is 3 lakh 53267 so this is question number 14. Sneha went for pay playing at 3.15 and returned 1 hour 15 minutes later. Which of the following clock shows the time she came back home? So we have to add in 3.15 we need to add 1 hour 15 minutes. So we need to add 1 hour 15. 15 minutes so 15 plus 15 which will add minutes so 15 plus 15 is 30 and 3 plus 1 is 4 so 4 30 is their answer so So, this is question number 15. Find the perimeter of the given figure. So, first we'll look at this figure. 2 centimeters, 3 centimeters, 3 centimeters. So, 3 centimeters and 3 centimeters are equal. Plus 3 centimeters, 3 centimeters, 3 centimeters. The length of this segment is not given. This is parallel to this long segment. So, this is also parallel to this long segment. So, till here it is 3 cm. Till this big dot it is 3 cm. This 5 cm is also parallel to this long segment. So, in here, it is 5 cm. So, we will add 5 plus 3, that is 8, and we'll minus 5 minus 8 is equal to 4. So, this is 4 cm. This is 9, this is 5, 2 and 2 are the same. So, now we we'll need to add on this to find the perimeter. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 3. Wait, I will draw your So, 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 3, 11. 11 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 3, 17. 17 plus 3, 20. 20 plus 4, 24. 24 plus 9, 33. 33 plus 5, 38. 38 plus 2, 40. 40 plus 12 is 52. So addition, my answer is 52. Number 16. Find the value of 5 plus x. We have to find the value in this division. So if it is 15. 9 are 135. So here x will be 9. And so 146 minus 135 is 1 1. 7 down 1. So 7 down then 15 7 are that is 105. 117 minus 105 equals to 1, 2, 0. So, y is equals to y is equals to 2. We have got x and y, so we need so
Then we will add these both and our answer is 11. This question number 17. Which of the following options are incorrect? So first we have to make this Roman letters into international numbers so that we can choose the correct answer. X is 10 and L is means 50. This is question number 18. The given bar graph shows Ravi Sen from January to May. Study the graph carefully and answer the questions. Question 18. If Ravi saved a total of 15,000 from January to May, then how much did he save in February? So first we have to find the total savings in May, April, March and January. So we will find it. In May it is 4500, in April it is 4000, in March it is 1500 and in January it is 2000. So then we will add these four savings 4500 plus 4000 plus 1500 plus 2000. So my answer is 12,000. So 15,000 is the full, the total saving and 12,000 is saving of this four. So we have, we have to find February, we, we have to subtract 12,000 from 15,000 and that is 3,000. My answer is 3,000. Question number 19. We are using the same graph which we used in question number 18. If Ravi spent one fifth of the amount of money he saved in April, then how much will he earn in that month? So we have to find how much he spent. And we know he spent 4000 in, he saved 4000 in April. So we will divide 5 by 4000. So My answer is 800 and then we will it multiply 800 by 1 so again it will come 800 only so then we have to find how much he earned earn means amount of he, amount he saved Plus amount he spent. He saved four thousand and he spent eight hundred. So we will add them. One answer will be four thousand eight hundred. So he earned four thousand eight hundred rupees in that month. Question number 20. If 5 buckets is equal to 525 ml and 2 buckets plus 4 bottles is equal to 270 ml, then what is 1 bottle plus 1 bucket? So we know the capacity of 5 buckets that is 525 ml. So we will find out 1 bucket by dividing 525 by 5. So my answer will be. 105 so we know the capacity of one bucket the 105 then we will move to this part these are two buckets so we will do 105 multiplied by 2 that is 210 so to find capacity of four bottles we will subtract 210 from 270 so the answer will be 60. Four bottles. So we know four bottles that is 60. 
So we're going to divide 60 by 4. So my answer is 50. So one bottle is 50. So 15 plus 105 we will do to find our answer. One hundred twenty is the addition of bottle and bucket. So our answer is one twenty.